March 10th, Sunday, and it's day one of progesterone oil. So I have everything laid out here, ready to go. I did that last night, and then I also have my area heating up. I put like a heat pack there. I decided not to do any um, anything frozen to like numb the area. I didn't do any creams to numb the area or anything. I just kind of wanted to do this first time, just kind of feeling what it feels like without numbing and seeing how it goes. And then if I feel like you know it is. I do want to have some numbing, then I can add that in later. I'm also doing it myself, which my husband is definitely willing, but I think it's just kind of, it's almost like this first time I want to see what it feels like to do it myself without numbing cream or frozen numbing or anything, just to see how it goes. And if it's bad, then, you know, I can add those things in later. And, you know, there may be some times where my husband isn't available to help me or something like that. So I just kind of wanted to do, how could I do it if I did it by myself with none of that stuff? So I'm gonna go ahead and, that might be kind of crazy to some of you, I don't know, but I felt like it was a little crazy. I kind of decided that um, not that long ago actually to, to do it this way, but um, I, think, I think it's gonna, I think I'm gonna be able to do it. We'll see, <laughs> you guys will see it. I really think it's a mental thing because I've heard some people say like they'll get it done and they're like, oh, that didn't even hurt that bad. So that's what I'm hoping is going to happen. <laughs> so here's the progesterone and oil and I'm going to clean off the top of that vial, just kind of rub it right there. And then I'm gonna lay that there so that's ready for me to wipe the area. So this is the needle that I suck the progesterone and oil up in and I'm gonna fill it up with air. I'm taking one ml, so I'm gonna fill it up to the one ml line and then stick it in here, right in the center, okay? And then I push the air in. She said this just helps to make it easier to draw out. And here we go. Drawing it out. There's a lot of bubbles coming in, but I'm sure that, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I probably will just draw out more than I actually need and then go through like a big bubble that is not gonna come out and it's not wanting to okay here we go it's just yeah I'm realizing the resistance that it has I guess the thickness that I've heard a lot of people talk about okay well just kind of drawing up a lot more than I actually need and then pushing out those bubbles okay so there it is and then I think I'm supposed to tap it I don't really see any bubbles so I think we're good uh, and I put this cap back on this big honking needle so this one I think is a 20 gauge needle for drawing up the medication. And then I throw that away in my disposable thing. And then I put this one on. So this one, they gave me 23 gauge needles that are an inch and a half long. <laughs> if you can see, I'm shaking a little bit. Um, just a little bit nervous and it, like I said I really think it's just this like mental block of just I don't know injecting myself with this much more intense looking needle okay so I have it ready to go and I'm going to put it in this I have another heat pack here so I'm gonna put it in here just for like a couple of minutes like three minutes or something and just to let it warm up because 
I've heard that that really helps with allowing it to inject easier since it is an oil. If you think about it, if you're cooking, you have the oil in the pan, like it moves around much easier once it warms up and everything. So trying to keep everything warm. So this area warm, the needle warm, and then hoping that will help everything to go in smoothly. All right. So uh, in a few minutes, uh, I'll be doing this shot. Okay, so it's been about two or three minutes that it's been warming, so it's time to do this. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off the area. And I'm just gonna kinda, I think I'm gonna, this is all an experiment, so. I've, I've kinda mentally practiced this for a couple of days where I'm just kind of, um, faking it, I guess, pretending. And I feel like that's been helpful. So I'm gonna get the alcohol, and just kind of rub this whole area, because I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna do it, but somewhere here. This is gonna be my easier side, doing it myself for sure, since I'm right-handed. Um, so I'm just feeling, Okay, there's my bone here. So I'm kind of going down from there. I have that leg bent. I'm not putting any weight on it. I'm leaning on this so I don't like kind of lose my balance and then end up putting weight on that foot to engage that muscle. I'm trying to keep that muscle um, loose. So I feel like that is a good area. It's always this fear, I think, like, where is my bone, you know? Like, I don't know. I don't really know what's going on in that area, but um, yeah, they say that, yeah, that inch and a half will go in and not hit any bones, so I'm just gonna trust them. And um, yeah, I think it's right. <laughs> I think I'm just delaying at this point. Um, maybe I'll kind of dig in with my nail to kind of give myself a mark of where I'm going to go. Okay. So this is nice and warm, just warm. Take this off. I'm just going to kind of get it going up like that. Pushing a little bit just to get a drop of that oil, there we go, up at the top of the needle. So, and then they say for this one, you want to actually, oh no, I'm losing it where I want to do it. How are you oh, want to do scared. it? I'm just scared. Okay. It's so long, that's the problem. Yeah, I mean, I know it's a mental thing, I'm pretty sure. Um, I guess I'll find out. I mean, it, people aren't like falling over dead when they do this stuff, so it's not that bad. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to do this for a long time. Okay. And they say to spread the skin instead of like pinching it like you did with your stomach. So that's what I'm doing. Again, just kind of feeling where I want it to go. Okay. Wow, that wasn't bad. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm Kind of shaking a little bit, but wow, it's hard to get in, but it's really not 
hurting. I'm just shaking so much. It's like halfway there. <laughs> Okay, I think it's all the way in. So now I'm just gonna let it sit there for a few seconds. And then, oh! Wow, okay, um, now I don't know if it's bleeding. I have gauze here. I don't think it's bleeding. So, wow, okay. <laughs> That was not that bad, <laughs> honestly. Um, yeah, it really wasn't bad. I feel like some of the, you know, and it may change as I'm doing it, because I remember even some of the ones in the stomach sometimes didn't really feel them. Sometimes I kind of felt them more. But I feel like the ones in my stomach almost kind of burned a little bit more, if that makes, I don't know, burning, but like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Um, kind of twinged a little bit more. I don't know. But this one really didn't hurt. It's just, uh, it is a mental thing, I feel like. And I think that adrenaline of just sticking like an inch and a half long needle into your bum, it just <laughs> kind of takes over a little bit. So I think that's more of what's going on than anything. So yeah, that was my first progesterone and oil shot and I am feeling good about it. I'm thankful that it wasn't painful. I feel like it's something I can do now. It's just kind of that hurdle. It's almost like I feel like when you're, I don't know if you've ever jumped off of a rock or something into a river or a bridge, low bridge into a river. I've done that in, in the past. And it's kind of like, uh, I can't do this, I can't do this. And then once you do it, you're like, oh, that was so fun and I'm glad I did it. I mean, not that this was fun, but anyway, it's just, I feel like it's kind of like a similar thing where it's like that mental block. Um, so anyway, but I've heard rubbing it really helps. So I'm doing that. I'm also, I have to leave right now. Actually, I'm going to be a little bit late um, to go to church because I'm helping uh, with the worship team today, singing in the worship team. I do that like once a month and this today, it fell on that day. So um, I already told them I was probably going to be a little bit late to practice. But I have these heat, hot hand, heat factory. I don't know. I, th I thought these were called like hot hands or something. But anyway, it says it's something where you just shake up. It's like, um, and then you can put it, you know, in your pockets to warm your hands. But I'm going to put this in my pants right here um, just to kind of continue keeping that warmth going. I heard that that can help with not having muscle pain afterwards and not having knots and stuff like that. So. Okay, well, I guess that's been a good rub here as I've been talking. So, yeah, and I think this is a great idea actually for anyone, especially if you're out and you don't have, you know, you don't have access to your microwave to heat up these heat packs or you can't plug in a heating pad. You know, you can just get these and then you have to go like a heating pack. It says it's gonna stay warm for like 10 hours, so that's pretty nice. I'll probably put a link down below just so if anyone's interested in getting them, I feel like it'd be super helpful if you're doing pressure and oil on the go and you wanna make sure you're still heating it and doing everything you can to prevent knots and muscle soreness. So thank you guys so much for watching and your support and stay tuned again. Um, please subscribe and click that bell so you can um, make sure you're up to date. I don't put up videos on a regular schedule so it's just kind of random. So that way you're, you're up to date with everything and um, doing frozen embryo transfer this week. I can't believe it. So, all right guys, see you in the next one. Bye.